it's Aaliyah Orozco, and I'm joined now with rising star actor Kato Roberts. Kato, how are you? <laughs> Kato is ready, huh? Yeah, I'm pumped. Let's do this. Oh, I love the energy. It, the energy is great. So I met Kato on the set of Darman Studios. Yep. We go way back, right? Yep, we right? go way back. <laughs> so we got to start there. You have been with Darman Studios for how long? Well, I've been with Darman Studios for about two and a half years because I started my first video in April of 2021. I know that. It's called Kids Make Fun of Boy with Autism. And I love this video because that's where I got to meet my two very best friends, Brenna Schroeder and Sean Dixon. They are really nice, by the way. If you see them, you got to say hi. And Aww. according to one of the director's posts and a website that I looked up, yeah. that is the sixth most viral video on YouTube in 2021. And oh it has 61 million views on YouTube alone. And that was your first one? Yeah, that's crazy. Talk that's about it not being meant for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no kidding. I know, your first That's one a really good thing to be a part of. That's amazing. And you got to meet your best friends? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So what has it been like working with Darn Man Studios for all this time now? Well, it's been, a, it's been a lot of fun. I've been able to meet a lot of amazing people like, you know, Aiden Meekis, Devin Wheatley, Oh, there was this other actor. <laughs> Hold on, there was this other actor. She was really good. Wait, she's really pretty. She's really nice. Ooh, she's a really good actor. <laughs> Aliyah Orozco! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I was like really sitting there like, who? I wonder, <laughs> I wonder who this is going to be. <laughs> yeah, because you know that's, that's what you said. You said we met there before. No, that really is where we met. I remember that. That's how this whole journey began. And that's why we're covering your story now, because you have been doing so much. You are up on the rise. I'm so excited for you and so proud of you. Thank Talk you. to me about your new series, Jay and Mikey. You play Mikey. Mm -hmm. I play a character named Mikey. Sean Dixon plays Jay. And I've actually played Mikey for a, quite a while now. And heesh, if I was to describe this kid, <laughs> he's a troublemaker. That's oh, one. Yeah. Two, yeah. he stops at absolutely nothing to get what he wants. I mean, that means... Lying, cheating, sneaking, stealing, uh, pulling the fire alarm in school. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It <laughs> and Jay, Jay is Mikey's best friend. And, you know, he has a little more common sense than Mikey. Yeah, that's But true. if he can benefit from whatever Mikey's doing, he's in on the plan. And there ain't no stopping them. <laughs> really? So Mikey kind of starts all mm -hmm. the... Mikey's the ringleader. <laughs> oh, I know. Even when I was on the set with you that one time, I was like, hmm, this Mikey... <laughs> He is up to no He's good. Something else. I know. Do you feel like you relate to your character at all? Because I kind of feel like you do. <laughs> are you trying to expose me? <laughs> You're all, he does this, this, Ooh, this. I'm all, are you like that? Um, <laughs> okay. Your mom will well, tell me. Your mom will tell me. Are you, are you a good kid? <laughs> yes. Is he? Is he? Yes. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I really hope my teachers aren't watching. But, you know, you know how Mikey cheats to get out of school and stuff? Kato. I kind of do that stuff, too. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Mikey and Kato are a lot alike. So you're kind of like playing yourself in some yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. I, I say I don't, I don't even have to act. I just be me. <laughs> I know. You're like, I just show up. Yeah, I just show up and this, I'm like, this okay, is, I'm already the kid. So. I, I'm already the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you have any other series coming out with Darman? Anything any okay. of your supporters can expect? Yes. So there's a thing called Mischief Mikey, and we've actually filmed a little already, and it's mostly about Mikey and his brother, Jaden, played by Brendan Schroeder. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. You guys will like it, but I can't say anything about it because it's not out yet. And then there's another really, really cool project that Darman's talking about, but I can't say anything about it either. I'm sorry. No, you're but okay. aside from Darman, I ha I've, I'm in an episode in HBO, and it's called Winning Time, the LA Lakers Dynasty. And I play this character that's referred to as Baby Bird, which is a reference to the great Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just kind of bully the, the, <laughs> the adult basketball player. And, <laughs> and yeah, and then I also have another episode on Apple TV, and wow. it's called A Lesson in Chemistry. And I just play this kid that doesn't like this, um, the main character in a flashback, and 
You know what the crazy thing is? What? I got to meet Bo Bridges. And Sean Dixon got to meet Bo Bridges in his movie, End of the Road. So that's a crazy coincidence. Wait, I love how that works. That's like yeah. a full circle moment. Yeah, so it's like we got to work with the same actor. And then I'm also filming another short film, and I'm actually going to finish it tomorrow. And it's really cool. You guys are going to like it. And it's with this Korean superstar. She's very well known. And her name is Lee Yu Jung. And oh. she's really nice. She's a really good director. And we actually watched, I actually watched one of her movies yesterday. And it's called Broker. And she, if she was a detective in that. She was really good. She, she's a really good actress. You have been super busy, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> What has it been like being a 13-year-old? How do you balance just your life with school, being an actor, having fun, yeah. all of it? It's, acting is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It is because I have to do acting classes. I have to read lines. And then I have to go on set and work for about nine, nine and a half hours. And then I have to go home and do school, like you said. So that's a lot of work, and my mind struggles. And that's why I cheat to get out of school. <laughs> oh, God. So, okay. Hey, hey. hey. I, ha I have a reasonable excuse. Very, very reasonable excuse. Yeah. You're working and you're doing school. How can you balance it all? I feel you. I'm in college. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a senior in college. What, I'm, what college do you go to? Azusa Pacific University, APU, out in SoCal. That's See, cool. now you know, now you know. That's cool. Okay, yeah, so what? Uh, he's all, okay, switcheroo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one getting interviewed now. <laughs> He's like, like, he's like, okay, okay. Well, what, <laughs> what do you like to do for fun when you're not on set? Well, I like to, I like to go next door and play with my next door neighbor, you know, shoot some hoops, play with him because he's a basketball player. He's really good at it too. And then I like to play with my sister and my crazy dog. Yeah. And yes, Sierra Marie Roberts. Check her out. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I also get to, you know, play with my dog and then, you know, I would like to be on a sports team, but, you know, because of all the acting and stuff, mm -hmm. I can't really do that. That's one thing I'm kind of sad about. But, hey, that's one in a million things. Hey, maybe you'll be able to play something, <laughs> like, in a role, like, where you're a basketball <laughs> player. Yeah. Oh. You got the hoops. You got the moves. Yeah. I love that. What would be your dream role? Like, think about future Kato is, do you want to more do, like, drama, comedy, love? Like, <laughs> what is your options? Musicals? making this a one-hour interview, aren't you? I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to okay. get all the questions out. <laughs> so, action. I oh, want to yeah. do action, comedy, drama, love. He wants to do it all. <laughs> yeah, I want to do it all. I kind of want to be, you know, the superhero, the police officer, the fireman, the oh, basketball player. That'd be cool. That'd the be boy cool. that kisses the girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what Gato wants. Oh, my God. I can't imagine playing an action movie, though. Like, imagine, like, being Spider-Man. Like, <gasps> oh, my God. I would love to see how they film that, though. Because, like, how do they do the... That's what I'm saying. Like, you would actually feel magical, I'm assuming, yeah. right? Yeah, I think. Is there any actors or actresses that you really look up to or resemble? I actually admire a lot of actors. One, Tom Cruise. Because, yeah. you know, he makes his movies very intense, but yeah. yet funny at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I like Jim, Jim Carrey. Oh, I me mean, too. the mask. I mean, the faces, the moves. He's like, smoking. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I also like Kevin Costner because he's a really good actor. And plus, I've seen his show, Yellowstone. And yes, I know that's not really for kids, but <laughs> I just watch parts of it to see how they act. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, I also like, you know, Spider-Man, all those kind of movies with those, all those kind of actors. And then, but I really love Dwayne Johnson and Jack Black. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Those are all great actors. Yes. Well, where do you see your future? Like, when you think of future Kato, where do you want to be? Do you want to get into anything else besides acting? Or what do you see for your future? Well... <laughs> I think, I think just doing acting because I can do all this stuff that people do in real life and acting. So, I mean, what's the use of changing? <laughs> I know, right? I, I love that for you, though. Is there any goals that you really have in your acting career? Well, to become a mega superstar. <laughs> that's, that's, and then, that's definitely the goal. And then, you know, when I become, if I become... Um, when, speak it into existence. Okay. When I become rich, I want to help other people. I want to help the world, you know. Um, about. Yeah. And then... That's kind of my goal, you know, just help people. I love that. You have such a beautiful heart. Always Thank keep you. that. What got you your start in acting? What really ignited that flame within you? Were you like a young boy and you already felt that spark for acting? Yeah, well, the way I got started in acting, I actually think is kind of backwards, but I'll okay, tell you how. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so I was already homeschooled, and I, I was watching TV, and I was like, hmm, 
man, this looks interesting. I want to do this. And I was like, Mom, I want to do that. And she was like, acting? And I go, mm-hmm, yeah. And she was like, okay. So she got me an agent, a manager. And then I started doing auditions. And then I just started getting, I started getting roles. And then it just went off from there. But the reason I say it's backwards is because, like, I, I was homeschooled. And then I started acting. But some of the kids I interact with say that they're, they're in real school, and then they start acting, and then they go to homeschool. So that's why I think it's backwards. But, yeah. That makes sense. Like, you started off already mm-hmm. homeschooled. Then, yeah, and then okay. I was like, yeah, you know, this is easy. Let's do it. This is working out for me. Was there any roles that you played that you knew in that moment of, like, okay, this is meant for me. This is my purpose? Mikey? Oh, Mikey, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like it. It went viral on YouTube. Like, that would be all the confirmation I needed. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I love that. It's been so lovely talking to you, Cato. Is there anything that you want to share with the audience? Anything we can expect to see out of you? Any last words? You, know, I think you're a man of a lot of words, yeah. so let, let's see what you got to say. Well, I'm just, I just want to say, keep on the lookout for the Mikey Mischief. Keep on the lookout for the movie, for the for one of the things that we're going to do on Darman, and then the HBO, and then the Apple TV. He has a lot coming out. He's going to keep you guys extra out this busy. Fall, the Apple TV and the HBO coming this, out this fall. This fall, everybody. Stay tuned, and we cannot wait to see what's next for you, Kato. Thank you so much. You. I appreciate great. you coming on. It was great talking to besties, you. Besties, besties always. Besties they, for life. Besties for life. Thank you, Darman, for connecting us, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye. Oh, amazing. Hey. Thank you. Bye.